uh, cabbage and cauliflower. Mm -hmm. So we done with that. We clean it. We put tapos, and now we uh, we plant some lettuce and uh, I think peppers and tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, whatever you like, the cabbage when you when we harvest the cabbage, harvest the cabbage and the rest they go to the walkway because that's our campus uh, okay. area. So they cost thousands of dollars. But you have a few plants uh, like tomatoes that you want to start a little early or you want to keep it alive because I call from coming. This is a good way to keep it like that because they don't cost a lot of money right. and uh, you can do it fast. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is like a little a little uh, hoop out or a little uh, shade. You can put a, a shade cloth in the summer. Uh, this is a, a three quarters P PVC pipe. It's schedule 40 as the, the thick one. And uh, I add a little piece to feed in there because this is the way they fit in the beds. I can I can cover two beds, <laughs> but you don't have to do that if uh, if you. All right. So this section here, we sec we sectioned it out so that it, we have hay because if you have animals, you don't want to be buying hay. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you talk about one calf takes a whole year, and if you don't have hay and it costs $100 a roll, and that $100 is every week, that's $5,000 in hay. And you're only going to get a thousand back. Why <laughs> <laughs> is the chicken running along with the look at her wildin'? What we planted in that area, and then we move it over to the next area, to the next area, and then it goes in a rotation where it doesn't go back to the same place for several years. I say bad, you say bad. Awesome. 